Hi, this is Maximo. Join me as we explore the lakes, markets and nature of the Dalesford area. It was our third and last day at Hepburn Springs, so we checked out of our hotel and proceeded to the Dalesford Sunday Market just a couple of kilometres away. We were lucky to get one of the last spots in the market, which is on the grounds of the old railway uh, station. You've got to get there early, folks, because we got there around about 9.30, and by the time we left around about 11, there wasn't a parking spot to be seen, and queues of cars trying to get into the complex were about a kilometre long. So my tip to you is get there early. <music> Markets are held in the surrounds of the Dalesford Rail Station. One of the things you can do whilst you're attending the markets is to ride one of the old diesel trains. I think the train dates back to about the 1950s and it goes from Dalesford all the way to Bellato, which is around about uh, 10 or so kilometres away. A round trip takes around about uh, one hour the cost is $22 per adult for the return trip. And I think for a family of five, you're looking around about $50. So if you're a train enthusiast, um, what better way to spend a Sunday morning or afternoon than on a rail trip? I think there's about five trips per day and prior bookings are essential to avoid disappointment. We spent an hour or so just wandering through all the different stalls and through the crowds. It was really quite a spectacularly pleasant day. A bit cold but uh, it was great to get some sun on the back in the middle of winter. We finished up at the market and slowly made our way back to the car. We proceeded to then head off to Lake Dalesford. It was only a couple of kilometres away and just outside the main town itself. We deviated from the loop track and went down to the Central Springs Mineral Reserve. This is a track that's about one kilometre long that features a small waterfall and a delightful little creek that takes us past a couple of different mineral springs. It was cool down there but it was quite delightful just being uh, amongst the, the nature and listening to the water trickling in the creek was very very relaxing we climbed up back to the lake and resumed our trek along the loop right around the lake i took quite a few photos it was uh, quite a spectacular day and the water had really nice reflections as well.
we finished our walk of the loop and decided to have a coffee and a bite to eat from Walter's Cafe. It was the only cafe open in the lake area. It took about half an hour to get our coffees, but uh, it was well worth it because it was quite nice coffees. By this stage it was mid-afternoon and we decided to head home. We've actually come to Dalesford um, about five or six years ago and there was a couple of places that we went that we decided not to go to again. The first is Wombat Hills Botanic Gardens. This is a fantastic garden set on top of an extinct volcano and it's got a very nice uh, fire tower that you can climb for fantastic views of the surrounding area. The second location is the convent in Dalesford. This is an old converted convent that is now an art gallery, restaurant, cafe and wedding venue. Again, there's spectacular views of the surrounding Dalesford area, as well as uh, the opportunity to have a look through the art gallery and just marvel at the different um, architectural features of a very old building. I do hope you've liked this video. If so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until our next adventure, take care and bye. Thank you.